Hi. Uh, today, as promised, we're going to be tackling the uh, the date and the engraving on this lovely little pot. Ooh, covered pot is quite uh, quite sweet. But on the back, there's been engraved some dates and initials, which the present owner they like the front, but they this means nothing to them, so they want it removed. So I'm going to take out the 17 there just to show you what can be done with this kit. Okay, for the purposes of this I'm going to use the 600 grip. I'm going to use a nice worn one. Look at that. It looks, I mean, you see the cloth coming through from the back. You think that's finished. But it's not. It's ideal for this. It's very thin glass. We don't want to attack it hard. So a nice worn one will do the job. You'd be surprised at how much can be taken off with a worn piece of abrasive. Then you need to squirt it with a bit of water. Oops. That's a bit wobbly. I haven't got that thing there right. Naughty boy. And then you see the angle there, just turn that away from there. And just keep swirling, checking the contours to make sure you haven't got any grooves down here. If you can get something single or something to support the back, helps give it support and uh, in this instance you certainly know it's starting to get off. Huh? Well, I'll think about that. Well, that's basically before with many of the jobs, the further out that you go, the less and you just fill it from this side. Let me just put that there. Now you can see there that it has started to uh, to grind it. It is slower this way than using the fresh piece, but it'll be easier at the polishing stage. This stage will be longer, but it'll be easier at the polishing stage and by using the worn one, there's less risk of error. If you dig in a uh, thin piece of glass like this, you ain't got much room for many places to go. You take it back out of there. Also with a worn piece, it's nice and flexible at the end. I back it, I tend to use these little wheels for backing. Um, I do sell these separately. These wheels, I use their rubber wheels impregnated with uh, silicon carbide. And I use those for shaping. Um, if I wanted to, for argument's sake, we've got a thorn vase there. Some of these thorns are a bit sharp. Um, where they've uh, been snapped off, and that will. I don't know if I've got a that do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I've got one on this machine. This wheel, I would use to shape and round the ends off, uh, round the feet. I'll, I'll show you all of that at a later date. See, as you see, I do wear a mask. A mask. Uh, I get these masks from the local 
a DIY Superstore. When you buy your mask, make sure that it says on the label, small particles, particularly silica. Because what, you know, silica is glass, or glass is made from silica. So make sure that it's a small particle and can cope with silica. Can you see that? And we've got ourselves a nice frosty patch, which we've now got to deal with. Now the next stage is to use the coarse grip that's in the kit, which is number one, number one grip. Keep mine, I always keep mine in the tub, keep it wet, if it dries out just add more water, uh, or you can dry, if you're going to store for a long while, let it dry out, put the tub on, just add water when you want to bring it back. What we're going to do now is follow the stages through. Some glass you will be able to skip out the stage. Other glass, this is quite hard this one, so I should imagine we're going to have to use each stage. Okay. I think you'll agree Oop, you said messing about and that is well and truly gone I had a new neutral feedback left on uh, eBay um, and it said that it takes a lot of skill and patience well, it does, but I'll teach you the skill. You just supply the patience. Um, this is a beginner's kit, and I'm taking those few numbers off. If I wanted to take off, which I do, I want to take all of this off, I will use... Let me just turn you off a second while I take the camera off. Right, to speed the process up, I use that big boy there. I've got a couple. In fact, I've got three, but uh, the other one's out in the other workshop. Um, these... I set up myself. You go and buy a specialist uh, machine, very similar to this, and they'll charge you three, four, five hundred pounds a go. Okay, but that that when I do the rest of that um, engraving, I should use these. Um, it does take a little bit of skill and a little bit of practice. You do need to learn the other way first before moving on to these. If you go straight on to these, you're going to have problems. Okay, well thanks for watching my video. Don't forget, I sell the kits on eBay, um, but if you go to my website, which you will find on the um, uh, title page, on, on my main home page, you'll find it at the title page at the top, and uh, on each listing, uh, or each video, you'll find it in the um, description. Anyway, it's www.ians-polishing-kits.com. Thank you very much for watching my video.